Hey. Hi, so I'm Patrick Casal with Casal Coaching and Consulting. I'm going to start a live series of discussions about imposter syndrome. Uh, this is my first take, just winging it kind of right now, and it's a little nerve wracking even just putting video content out to the world. Uh, I wanted to just kind of talk about what imposter syndrome is for people and how it shows up. A lot of ways that it shows up is feeling fraudulent. Like I am a fraud. I'm not, I'm not good at this. I'm kind of just faking it till I make it and getting through it. That's a big way that it shows up. Another way that imposter syndrome shows up is just simply the mentality of like, I'm not good enough for this. I'm not worthy of, of doing something. Why me? Why would I be good at this? And we can kind of get in our own way with that mentality a lot of the time where it feels like, I don't want to bet on myself. I don't want to take a chance because I really don't think that I can be successful. Um, it also shows up in terms of shame. Like I feel like I'm incompetent and incapable and ultimately I feel really shameful about it and I retreat inwards because this is so scary for me and it becomes paralyzing. I see it happen all the time with friends, colleagues, loved ones, where it's like everyone on the sidelines is cheerleading for them saying, look how good you are at this. And that person cannot take that in. So I will say that as I'm building this coaching course for other therapists to start their own businesses, I'm experiencing my own imposter syndrome of what the hell do I have to offer that other people aren't already doing, or why would somebody hire me? That comes up a lot. That's a real feeling for, for me and for a lot of people who maybe want to start their own businesses, maybe want to take a risk on something that they don't think is possible. So I'm going to try to do a series of recorded videos with other helping professionals, other people that are just struggling with this in their day to day in different areas of their lives. So thank you for watching this brief two and a half minute video. That was just to get the anxiety out of doing this and putting something on the internet. Um, I anticipate doing something pretty regularly, probably weekly. It'll be a discussion, almost interview format where we're talking about how does imposter syndrome impact your life? What is it prevented or held you back from doing? And really working through that together to highlight how great you are and the talents that you have and the skills that you have and the things that you do bring to the table. Because really what we want to try to train people to do is to name it, to, to work through it as uncomfortable as it may be. And I think a lot of this comes up from while you're a child, if you're being praised for being smart or you're being praised for accomplishing something, it sets this precedent that we're only good enough when we accomplish, we're only good enough when we do. And in reality, I'd love to send the message to people that like, you're good enough because you tried and it was really hard and you didn't give up. That makes you strong. That makes you resilient. That makes you powerful. So thanks for watching and, you know, keep your eyes out for more content coming your way. And if you know anyone that struggles with imposter syndrome or if you do yourself, Please feel free to sign up. Um, I'd love to interview you and talk about who you are and what you do and how this has impacted you and kind of get your message out to the world. So thanks. Have a good Wednesday. Don't even know what day it is anymore. <laughs>